Hey guys, it's Mackenzie. Welcome back to my channel. So today we have a ship with me video. Today is Tuesday, July 12th, and we have 40 items to ship out today. So let's go ahead and just get into it. We're going to start off with three items that sold in my men's closet. It is totally separate from my women's Poshmark closet. It is Mr. Underscore Poshman. That's my men's. And then my women's closet is McThriftsy. So our first men's sale is this Arcteryx long sleeve polo shirt this had like a whole technical name to it i did look it up and do research on it just because i don't find arcteryx very often i wish i did it is a fantastic brand to find um, not only is it super high quality but it has a very high retail price and there is a high demand for this brand this was a size extra, extra large. And polo shirts are not, I wouldn't say, their best selling category or type of item within the brand. More so jackets. Just anything that's a little bit uh, heavier duty for outdoor wear, I would say. Um, this is more of just like a casual style long sleeve polo shirt but i 100 percent still wanted to get it especially because i found it at the bins it was pretty lightweight i only paid about two dollars for it i do purchase items by weight at the goodwill outlet um so yeah i was really excited to find this nonetheless i listed it at fifty dollars it took, I would say, a couple months to sell. I got an offer of 32, which I did accept. That made my earnings $25.60 and my net profit $23.60 on this top. So, very happy with that. My average sale price in my men's closet is right around $30. It might be, it might be just above $30. Uh, which is fantastic. That's one reason that I have a separate men's closet is because I feel like the items definitely sell better and for a higher average sale price in their own closet. Okay, second men's piece is a pair of suspenders. These are so cool. They are Trafalgar brand and they are silk. They're a limited edition. I'll have to insert a picture I think I'm too far away, but they have a duck. I think it's a mallard duck print on them. Uh, and are these, I'm pretty sure these are either like limited edition. I think all of their novelty uh, printed suspenders are like limited edition. Um, or maybe they were just rare, hard to find. I don't think I could really find any for sale on the secondhand market in this duck print. So I did put rare in the title. I listed them for a hundred. Trafalgar is an excellent suspenders brand to look out for. Um, it's definitely a reputable brand that people really like. And to top it off with the duck novelty print as well as silk material that definitely does elevate the piece as well. I did list these at 100 and I would say about a month later I received a $75 offer which I accepted. That made my earnings 60. Also picked these up from the bins. They were just in a huge pile, just a pile of suspenders and I just picked up the pile, put it into my bag, and bought them all. My earnings were 60 and my net profit was around $59 on those. So that was fantastic. Okay, third and last men's piece, yet another pair of suspenders, also Trafalgar brand, also silk. Uh, these are like a black and gray polka dot print with leather, trims and a silk fabric 
Uh, these obviously do not have a novelty print, so uh, I listed these at 40 and again, about a month later, I got a $25 offer, which I accepted. That made my earnings 20 and my net profit $19. I also have a pair of Trafalgar suspenders that have the Hippocratic Oath uh, like novelty print on it, which is so cool for like if you're a doctor and you have like a ceremony you could wear a really fun pair of overalls um, that are, you know, kind of like on the nose for the event. Um, there's an, I have an owl print. I think those are all my novelty ones. Uh, yeah, I was really excited to stumble into that stack of suspenders at the bins. Okay, switching gears to my women's closet now. We're starting off with a three-piece bundle. This first item is a Jane and Delancey camo printed hoodie. I got this mainly because it was new with tags. Um, also, it has a very, very soft interior. This falls into the athleisure style, which has been just flying out of my closet for the last couple years. Um, and because I have sold Jane and Delancey several times now, and it has sold very well for me very quickly. Second piece is a pair of Anthropology linen blend pull-on kind of trouser wide leg beachy pants these were very recently listed and lastly also actually this is a hundred percent linen from the brand Kinar which uh, I have picked up I think once in the past based on style this was also well this is mainly a material pickup um, I will buy a lot of stuff that's a hundred percent linen if it has even a, you know, remotely cute, like, print or cut or anything that just kind of uh, su supplements or supports the linen fabric. So, for the three of these items, the buyer bundled and I sent her a $60 offer, which she accepted. That made my earnings $48 for everything I paid around three and so my net profit was $45. These were all Goodwill Outlet finds and all pretty lightweight. Add my thank you sticker. I feel like I haven't filmed a ship with me video in a while. I mean I haven't. I've just been kind of shipping on my own because I've been really busy trying to get listings up and stuff. Um, and the videos do take, they slow me down quite a bit uh, just because I have to write all the information on the back of the labels. I hand write all of that. And um, obviously I'm chatting and whatnot. Uh, so I have been just kind of shipping um, without filming, but I have been missing it. It definitely makes it go faster and it is definitely more fun. Okay, so next up we have a pair of Lucky Sandals. They have a little bit of a wedge to them. It's like a faux wood wedge. They're a suede strappy upper, almost like a gladiator sandal. And I listed these at 35. I would say within three weeks or so, I received a $29 offer, which I accepted. I thought that was very fair. That made my earnings $23.20. I paid two, and so my net profit came out to $21.20. So pretty good. Lucky brand shoes, I would say sell best within the brand for me, best selling category. Uh, their sandals in the summertime sell great and then obviously their boots in the wintertime sell really well also. So also like the, 
have to put the label on the uh like hybrid shoes sell really well in the fall time it's like a peep toe yeah the, like a peep toe sandal kind of thing booty almost <laughs> those usually fly out of my closet around september october ish okay moving on another pair of shoes these are dolce vita another solid seller for me you want to be sure when you find this brand that it is the full name written out and not dv dv is a diffusion line within the brand that is sold at target and it does not retail for much which means you generally can't resell it for much. I do sometimes pick up DV shoes at the bins if they're really lightweight, but I usually expect no more than like 15 to 18-ish for them. Um, but these are the full name Dolce Vita, so that is their highest line within the brand. I listed them at 38. They had a genuine calf hair like leopard printed or leopard print dyed calf hair um, back portion, which is really nice. They're like a Dorsey shoe. So I listed these at 38. I got an offer of 25, which I accepted. My earnings were 20. I paid two at the bins, and so my net profit was $18 on these. I have had them now for maybe like three months, so I was ready to move them out. I picked these up at the bins. They are super cute, really. I always, I'm definitely a sucker for leopard print. All right, next up, we have a blouse by Diane von Furstenberg, DVF. This is 100% silk really pretty kind of jewel tone emerald green in a size 10. This is her newer tag which was exciting. I don't think I found her newer tag yet. Um, also a bins grab, very lightweight, probably paid a dollar for it. I think I just found a stack of silk tops at the bins which is like my favorite thing ever because a stack of silk tops uh, I'm talking like maybe five or six. I will probably pay around two or three dollars for just because they're so lightweight and you know silk is a higher quality fabric so that it tends to sell for more so I mean you can turn like three dollars into a couple hundred maybe three hundred very easily. I listed this at 35 and someone liked it and so I sent them out a $31 offer with discount ship that was accepted making my earnings $22.12 uh, and my net profit $21.21. $21.12 .21. So pretty good. Uh, moving on, I have had these, I would say, for about a year now, so very excited to move them out. They are Gap uh, plaid, kind of slightly boot cut pants. They're like a mid to low rise. I got these as kind of an experiment at the Goodwill outlet uh, just because they were so like 90s Y2K style. Um, and I wanted to add in a ton of keywords like academia, dark academia, 90s, Y2K, preppy, school uniform, and see if I could get them sold that way. But uh, unfortunately, they sat for a while, which honestly, I don't really care about items sitting. But you know, obviously, it's ideal and they sell fast. So I listed these at 24 Someone, again, someone liked them, and so I sent them out a $21 offer with discount ship, which was accepted. That made my earnings $14.12. Uh, 
I paid about a dollar and so my net profit was $13.12 on these pants. Next we have a scarf, plaid printed scarf. These are my bread and butter sales in the fall and winter time. They're so cute. This does unfold to be a very large uh, scarf. You could even use this as a blanket if you wanted to. They're very versatile. You could do a wrap, blanket, scarf, shawl, um, really anything. And I usually find these at my outlets. I don't pay over two dollars for them and I mean they sell very very well for me they, obviously they have slowed down in the summertime but I will for sure go back to picking up a ton of them in the fall time even come August I mean right now in July I would buy them I haven't been seeing them too often but um, I do love selling them. They're so easy to just throw on my mannequin, take a couple pics, swivel the mannequin around really quick, and snap some photos. I don't take measurements just because when it's on the mannequin, you can definitely gauge, uh, you know, how large it is essentially. So I listed this at 25. Uh, two or three months later, I got an offer for 18, which I did accept because we are in the dead of summer. So I'm fine with moving this out for 18. I would say they generally sell for 18 to 25 ish. My earnings were 1440 and my net profit was $13 and 40 cents. Okay. A four item bundle here. Starting off, we have this Talbot red corduroy blazer. Really pretty with gold hardware and uh, like horse bit details. Very kind of Gucci-esque. I have sold this exact blazer in the past in green. And then I found it again in red. Second piece is this boyfriend shirt from Express in like a mineral wash, uh, button down, size small. I've sold a couple of these boyfriend shirts. They literally say boyfriend on the tag right under Express um, and they always sell for me. So I will continue picking them up. I think a lot of people just uh, like the idea of like an oversized shirt. You can wear it several different ways. Last clothing item in the bundle is this BCBG Max Azria open front, high low kind of draped cardigan sweater. I got this because it was 55% silk, 45% cotton, and it had no signs of wear. So even though in my experience, BCBG does not sell very quickly or for a lot, um, good fabrics and cardigans do sell well in general across the board. So I did want to get that very lightweight. And then the last piece will be a pair of shoes. I think, I think all of these items sold pretty quickly, which is great all under a month I would say. So lastly is this pair of Anne Klein crochet little flats. They lace up around the ankle. Super cute. These are definitely like a vintage kind of thing. They look to be from the 90s but I did want to get them because I knew I could add beach, boho, granny, granny core, cottage for um, a ton of style keywords that could um, attract potential buyers. Going to grab my box number 1095. This is what I use for large-ish bundles. Um, I have box 10 number 
$10.92 for a little bit smaller bundles. And then I have a box number seven, which is for my largest bundles. Um, and I do have a list of all of my supplies down below, including what I order from the USPS. Yeah, I think I'm going to have to make a box number seven for this because it's just too lo too wide for this box. So for all four of these items, the BCBG gray cardigan, Anne Klein black crochet flats, Talbots red blazer, and Express green boyfriend shirt. Uh, when everything was added together, the bundle price came out to $102 and someone offered me 60, which I did counter to 75, and they countered back to 70, which I accepted. That made my earnings 56. I paid $7 for everything, and so my net profit was $49 on this bundle. So I will make a box number seven after I'm done filming. It's just kind of loud, so I'll do that off camera. Next up, we have a dress. This is by the brand Hell Bunny. It's a polka dot pinup style, like rockabilly style dress with velvet accents. Um, and this brand I'm guessing is a definite bolo uh, because this dress and the next dress I will show you, which is also Hell Bunny, sold within, they both sold within an hour of being listed to different people. So yeah, I guess people are actively searching out this brand. I did add all the keywords that go with this type of dress. Retro, vintage, pinup, rockabilly, uh, swing style. So maybe someone was searching out those keywords and uh, found it that way. I think with very specific style uh, dresses like this, it is important to include all of your keywords. So I listed this at 32 and like I said, within an hour I got a $25 offer, which I accepted. My earnings were 20 and my net profit was $18. Also Hell Bunny. This one is very cute. Also, it's a novelty print with flamingos and like a tropical kind of scene. Uh, this one is a size extra large. It's actually missing the belt, which I did disclose for sure. And it's still sold for full price within, again, this one sold within like 10 minutes of being listed. $35, which was awesome. That made my earnings 28. Uh, I paid two. I got both of these dresses, this one and the last one from my local family thrift center outlet on $2 day. And so my net profit on this was $26, which I was thrilled with, especially with it missing a, an accessory. That just shows you, uh, even if something is, you know, missing or it has a small flaw, there are definitely times when that really won't matter just because the demand of either the brand or the style of the item just kind of overrides that. So yeah, I will be picking up Hell Bunny when I see it. Okay, moving on, we have a two-piece bundle. First off is this Chico's 100% linen button-down shirt kind of shacket style piece. Um, I was actually pretty excited to find this because it's a size 3 in Chico's, which does great. That is an extra large. It's 100% linen, which is right on track for the current season. It's also a really fun, bright pop of orange, which I feel like you don't always see. Second and last piece is this pair of Torrid like short alls or a romper size 2x and this is also this also has linen in it um 
So yeah, a really fun kind of summery bundle here. These are both great pieces to add to a warm weather wardrobe, I would say. So the bundle price for these two came out to $67 and the buyer offered me 56, which I accepted. Um, let me replace my tape here. So yeah, I accepted 56. That made my earnings $44 and 80 cents. Uh, I paid $2 a piece, so $4 total, making my net profit $40 for these two items. And these both sold very quickly, same day of being listed, which I knew they would. Honestly, Chico's has been selling same day for me. Um, pretty much every item I've been listing and Torrid always flies out of my closet. So I would say if you're looking to flip items that will move quickly, I would highly recommend Chico's and Torrid. Um, Chico's stuff, I would say, you know, has to have several factors for it for me to pick it up. Like this, you know, the vibrant color, the material, the size. If this were like a size, uh, she goes 0.5 which is like extra small or something petite in like a I'm trying to think of a color that would be less desirable um, or you know like a polyester fabric even um, I would not have got, gotten it I do definitely take into consideration the uh, factors selling factors that each piece has going for it Okay, next we have a dress from Zara. This is their newer tag, which is also a very fast seller for me. Typically, um, in addition to this cut of dress, it's like a baby doll cut. And this is also all natural materials. It's linen and cotton. Really fun, oversized kind of coconut style buttons down the front. So very boho. Almost lag and look. I did add lag and look as a keyword into this listing. I listed this dress at 32, uh, which is a bit higher than I typically list my Zara stuff, but just because this had so much going for it with the material, the cut, the style, condition. Someone offered me 27 within just a day or two. Uh, I accepted that. My earnings were $21.60. Also paid two for this, and so net profit was right around, already added one, was right around $20. I definitely feel like I have not filmed a show with me in a while. My, uh, what do you call that? Muscle memory, my muscle memory uh, is a little bit off with <laughs> the thank you stickers and the shipping labels and whatnot. Okay, I think I'm going to have to break and run what I have packaged so far down to the post office. Alrighty, I am back from the post office. Let's go ahead and continue on. So next we have this Calvin Klein dress. This is a shift dress. It has like a velvet burnout texture design to it. Um, I just picked this up at the bins because it was a size 14 and in my selling experience, textures like velvet or Swiss dot, uh, what are other textures? Those are embroidery uh, is definitely something that makes an item more marketable. So the fact that this had this burnout texture and it was a larger size at a size 14, um, plus it being a reputable brand, Calvin Klein, I did want to go ahead and get it. So I just threw it in my Hulkin bag at the bins. Uh, I listed it at 25. I would say two or three months after listing, I 
received an offer of 18, which I accepted. That made my earnings $14.40. I paid about a dollar, so my net profit was $13.40. So I like to get basic bread and butter stuff like this just to kind of supplement my sales. Um, everything adds up and uh, you know, it's pretty easy to list stuff like this. I didn't take the time to find a stock photo for this. And with how long I have been reselling, keywords just kind of flow through my fingers while I'm uh, typing. Sounds kind of weird. I just can very easily come up with keywords while I'm listing. So um, yeah, it's not too much of an effort to list bread and butter stuff. So I do pick it up. Everything is based around time, how much time something takes me. So the longer I resell, the more I'm able to cut corners and do things quickly and everything adds up. Okay, three-piece bundle now. First off is this Chico's Tiger Print button-down shirt. This is the second time I have sold this exact shirt from Chico's. Tiger Print, uh, I think it was the same size. This one is a size two, which is extra, no, that's large in Chico's. I think the other one was an extra large. Um, but yeah, same shirt and they both sold the last one that I sold and this one the same day of being listed. So animal print Chico's, it's the no iron shirt, which might help it out also. Second piece is this tie dye long sleeve. I think this was originally from Walmart. The brand is Kelly Renee, I'm pretty sure. Um, but honestly, it looks like it's really good quality. It's a really soft, stretchy jersey knit. I love the boho tie-dye print. I actually got this for myself, but I ended up listing it. I only listed it for $10 because it is from Walmart, but it also sold same day. This Lululemon tank, same thing for this. Very quickly, very quick sale. Um, this is a tank top, which I am, I mentioned in the haul, I do, uh, I don't get all Lululemon tank tops that I see these days, but this one looked brand new and it still had the rip tag, um, and it was a size 12. So for all those reasons, I did want to grab it, sold super quickly. Uh, the bundle price when the three of these were added together came out to $62.00. And I got an offer of 53, which I did accept. I thought that was a pretty good offer. That made my earnings $42.40. I paid six for everything. And so my net profit was $36.40 on this bundle. So, yeah, all really quick sales. Honestly, the stretch jersey knit, which is usually like rayon and spandex or modal and spandex, uh, anything that's just really soft and stretchy, that was that tie-dye t-shirt. Uh, always sells very well for me. And tie-dye prints, animal prints, athleisure, you see a lot of... Um, things in that bundle that usually sell very quickly for me. Okay, next, another, I think this was same day or next day sale. This is, it has one fuzz on it. This is New Tags 41 Hawthorne by Stitch Fix. It's a size 2X, obviously brand new. Again, this is a very soft and stretchy cotton modal and spandex. So, we have a stretch jersey knit here as well. It's kind of like a slub stretchy jersey knit, uh, but really pretty, really nice. I love this maroon color. This kind of piece is so nice for lounging, 
just because it's so comfy. You could wear this with like pointy knit pants or leggings to dress it down. And but it is collared and it's you know a nicer kind of thicker material. So you know you could do dark skinny jeans and maybe some like wedge heels to dress it up. So very versatile piece. We love that it's new with tags. Stitch Fix brands do sell really well for me. This one is 41 Hawthorne, also Market and Spruce. Um, I know there are others. What's the other one I'm thinking of? I will put any others on the screen that... There's one that's on the tip of my tongue, but I cannot remember what it is. Okay, so this top I listed at $30 and it sold full price, which was very exciting. That made my earnings 24 and my net profit $22. I feel like half the time I find Stitch Fix items, they are new with tags because it's a clothing subscription service. So, uh, you know, people get the items in the mail and they end up just not liking them and they don't want to go through the trouble of mailing them back to Stitch Fix. So I think they just donate them with the tag and all, which I'm usually pretty happy to find. Okay, next, this is a, or was a style-based grab. I thought it was so cute. It's like a tapestry material. Never heard of the brand. G-R-E-G-G-E -G -G -E Greg Sport. Um, purely picked this up because of the tapestry look and the really cool boho, almost like shabby chic, colorful floral uh, design. I actually got this on Dollar Day at my Family Thrift Center outlet. It is... Usually when I uh, can't make it on a Thursday, which is $2 day, that's when they switch out the inventory in the store. I will try to go that following Monday to see if there's anything that I can find. I usually just find a lot of style-based pickups like this for a dollar. So I listed this at 28. And I would say a month after being listed, I got a $20 offer, which I accepted. Just because uh, this is, you know, really no brand. It's an older piece and um, it has been sitting. I was happy to accept 20. My net profit was $15 on this jacket. So again, something that I also just kind of threw in my cart and that profit will add up for sure. This is really cute though, very chic. I could so see that being sold at like Anthropology. All right, a Woolrich sweater. This is very cute. I always find knits. I always put on uh, padded hangers just to kind of preserve the shoulders. Uh, so this is a Woolrich size medium novelty print sweater with a ski graphic on the front. It is 33, 20% wool, 10% mohair. So a great fabric blend. And when you combine the novelty print with the reputable name brand Woolrich, you have a very sellable item here. I have sold a sweater by Woolrich very similar to this one in the past. It had a thermos graphic print on it. I thought it was so cute. This one is also very cute. Uh, just like winter novelty prints. Um, and I sourced the thermos printed one off of ThreadUp. Uh, and I think that one sold for for around 30 as well. So I listed this one at 35. Maybe a month later, I received a $30 offer, which I accepted. That made my earnings 24 and my net profit 
22. So I think that's pretty good considering we are in the dead of summertime right now. Next is this Laura Lett dress. This is so cute. I love the colorful print and the tiered skirt portion. It has a button up at the chest. I had never heard of this brand before, Laura Lett, but I think it is something that, uh, you know, if you can find for a reasonable price, maybe like $5 and under, I would totally grab it, especially if it has a cute print like this or, you know, a super cute cut. Um, it does seem like something that people are looking for. So, I believe this retailed for around $100. I could be wrong though. I'm pretty sure. Um, and I just listed this, was it last night? I listed it $40. Uh, someone liked the dress, and so I sent them out a $36 offer with discount ship. That was accepted which made my earnings $26.12. I paid two, and so my net profit on this came out to $24.12. So very happy with this. I would totally pick up the brand again, especially if the style and print was at as adorable as this one. And did I mention it was a size 18-20, which is great. I am always on the hunt for cute plus size stuff that's in good condition. I feel like it's kind of hard to find, so I do try to keep my eye out for it. Moving on, we have J. Crew, made with Liberty of London fabric. I think the print is called like swirling petals or something. They all have specific names to them, and I think some people do collect the certain prints. Some people are like very into the Liberty of London fabrics. They're very high quality. They definitely do elevate items when uh, they're in collaboration with Liberty of London, like J. Crew, Antonio Milani. Um, I know there are many brands that col collaborate with Liberty of London, but I think J. Crew is one of the uh, most popular collabs. So I listed this at 40 and maybe a week after a week of being listed I received a $28 offer which I did go ahead and accept. I think if I had held out a little bit longer I probably could have gotten maybe 32 to 35 ish for this but sales have been slow. We are in summer slowdown. And so I wanted to just go ahead and accept. I got this from the bins. I only paid a dollar for it. So my net profit was still $21.40, which is uh, what I aim for uh, with a net profit on my bins pickups. So it still was within that threshold. Um, and I think that, you know, Making sales does kind of keep the algorithm happy. It keeps, you know, offers rolling in and traffic coming to your closet. Next, we have a pair of pants. These are by J. Jill from their linen stretch line. I love this color. I got these at the bins because of several reasons. First off, the color. Also, they are a wide leg cropped pant, which has been pretty in demand recently. Uh, also, well, this cut is in demand mainly because we are in summertime and this is a very like beachy boho pant. Um, it's very like a, I would say it's definitely a like timeless, warm weather kind of cut to pants. They also are a linen blend and uh, they're J. Jill, which people know J. Jill, they love it, they're searching for it. When they see that a piece is J. Jill, they know that it's quality, that it's well made, and that it's going to hold up, which is important. 
These actually originally had a waist belt with them, like a little tie waist belt, but unfortunately I didn't find that. So uh, I, you know, listed them without. Obviously I listed them at 28. I got an offer of 19, which I did go ahead and accept. That made my earnings $15.20 and my net profit $14.20. And 20 cents. All right, an exciting sale here. This also sold extremely quickly within like one or two days. This is newer tag cabby. It's a size extra large. The style name is the retro cardigan. It has these like three dimensional polka dots, I guess like pom poms <laughs> is what that would be. Uh, and it's just really pretty. It's like a Kind of thicker knit feels very substantial and high quality and this specific style of cardigan the retro cardigan seems like it is pretty high in demand i say that because there were very few available for sale that i was seeing when i checked comps and also because this sold for full price within like a day or two which tells me that Someone was probably searching for this exact style of cabbie sweater. Uh, cabbie is like a subscription brand or it has some type of like exclus exclusivity to it. So uh, people do, uh, you know, look for certain pieces and they keep up with you know, certain collections like spring collection, fall collection, and know all of the pieces within each collection. Uh, so yeah, anyways, I listed this at 45 and it sold full price. My earnings were 36. I paid two and so my net profit was $34. So could not be happier with that. Moving on, we have a shacket. This is by the brand Wishlist, which is just like a boutique brand. It's leopard print, really cute, size medium large. I just threw this in my bag at the bins again as a bread and butter piece, something that I knew wouldn't sell for a lot, but it would sell quickly and, um, you know, for a decent return. Like I was saying, the longer I resell, the faster I am with listing stuff. And so that means that I am uh, able to pick up more, a higher volume, and process it faster. Used to, I would have to be very kind of selective with what I was finding because, you know, it would take me forever to list. So I didn't want to get so bogged down by bread and butter stuff. I needed to just list the good stuff I was finding, then go back out and try to find more good stuff. But nowadays I definitely have more of a volume based business model just because I am faster at listing now. And also my boyfriend, Danny, he works with me now. And honestly, that has been huge for um, what I'm able to pick up. He seams for me, photos, measures, and he uh, puts the photos into my the draft section on Poshmark. And so I go in, I create the, the cover photos, and I actually type in the description of the pieces. Um, and obviously I shop and film. Uh, I think that's all of my tasks. And so yeah, him helping me has been huge for us just getting way more listings up because, you know, the time that I was spending steaming and photoing, I can now allocate towards just listings. So we're getting way more up, way more processed, which is awesome. All right, a two piece bundle now. First off is this American Eagle striped boyfriend fit or oversized fit button down shirt really cute kind of earth tone striped print 
I believe I said in the haul, but I pick up basically everything that is the newer American Eagle tag just because it sells so quickly. Second and last piece in this bundle is this Bobby Los Angeles size small, which this is a brand sold on Revolve and Nordstrom. They have a lot of really cute uh, kind of like semi-casual dresses and skirts, a lot of like ruching within t-shirt dresses, which I like a lot because, you know, sometimes you want to be casual, but also look really put together. Casual, but classy. And I feel like that's kind of this brand Bobie's MO. Uh, so yeah, anyways. Uh, when the two of these were added together, the bundle price came out to $50 and I offered the buyer $40 with discount ship. To that offer, they did counter at $32, which I went ahead and accepted, mainly because that American Eagle shirt uh, was so lightweight. I probably paid like next to nothing for it at the bins, maybe like $0.75 cents to a dollar. Um, so I did accept 32 on this. That made my earnings $25.60. And my net profit right around $23. Okay, so for our next sales, I'm actually not going to package them on camera because they all sold so quickly after being listed that I wasn't able to put them into haul videos yet. Uh, so I'm just going to run through them and tell you what everything sold for. And then I will package them after I put them into the haul video. So yeah, basically everything from here on out for the rest of the video sold extremely fast within like hours to a day of being listed. So we have a two piece bundle First off is this Torrid New Attack Super Soft Knits 3X Long Line Cardigan. Uh, very cozy. This is like loungewear kind of vibe. And with it being New Attacks, retailed at $56 size 3X. I knew this would fly out of my closet. Loungewear is huge. Torrid, the brand, is something, it's one of my fastest sellers I would say for sure. Second and last piece in the bundle is this Exist brand tie-dye maxi dress size large. It has ties at the shoulders. Tie-dye print and midi and maxi link dresses sell very quickly for me as well especially in the summertime. So those two when added together the bundle price was $63 and I was offered 56, which I accepted. That made my earnings $44.80. I paid two per item, so $4, making my net profit $40 on that bundle. Next, we have more Torrid, another two-piece bundle. This is Torrid size 2X. It's a really soft, stretchy jersey knit t-shirt with a lace-up sleeve and an embroidered lotus flower graphic on the front. Second and final item in the bundle is this. The brand is East Fifth Woman. I got it because it was a size 1X. It has this really fun boho print and because it is a linen blend. So it also has really pretty like mother of pearl buttons. So this has quite a bit going for it. I really like that. So those two sold the bundle price was 50 and someone offered me 38 for both. So I did accept that. My earnings were $30.40 and my net profit was $26.40. Okay, second to last sale, a two item bundle. First off is this band t-shirt, another type of item that always flies out of my closet, band t-shirts, especially if they have some really cute, interesting details to them that kind of set them apart. Like this one has distressing at all of the edges. It's also a really nice kind of muted sage green color. And it does feature a very well-known band, Journey. It's by Junk Food Clothing Size Medium. Feels brand new, honestly. 
So that sold in a bundle with this American Eagle extremely boho top. Has a uh, like elastic kind of bubble sleeve here, tassels going all the way down. You have embroidery on the entire front, just really pretty. This is that newer American Eagle tag. I was just mentioning sells quickly for me. So the journey and that shirt, the bundle price was 53 and I was offered 43, which I accepted. My earnings were $34 and 40 cents and my net profit was right at $30. And our last sale for today that I need to package is a three piece bundle, starting off with these Eileen Fisher pants. They are organic linen, a wide cropped leg in a size petite medium. Anything organic linen, organic cotton, uh, cashmere, alpaca, any kind of nicer fabric from Eileen Fisher does sell very quickly for me. This is Victoria's Secret 100% cashmere graphic sweater. It says T's on the front, really cute, got that from the bins. And lastly is this pair of Market and Spruce. So these are, Market and Spruce is also a Stitch Fix brand, same with 41 Hawthorne that I was mentioning earlier. These are a linen blend short in a size 14 W. So this three piece bundle, the buyer bundled a three and I sent her a $65 offer with discount ship, which she did accept. That made my earnings $49.32. I paid five for all three, and so my net profit was $44.32 on that bundle. Okay, so that is absolutely everything that I needed to ship out today. I will film a haul video on those and get those packaged up. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you stayed until the end, you definitely are a trooper. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and I will see you guys soon. Bye y'all.